Hi everyone, this is Kristen Egger. Today's healthcare topic in the ID Chat podcast series is matching patient records across the care continuum and linking the correct patients to their correct records. We'll be talking about how outdated or poor patient demographic information can lead to errors such as duplicate patient records and even incorrect patient matching. Joining me today to educate us on the topic is Catherine Schulten, and she is the VP of Product Management at LifeMed ID. Can you describe the difference between deterministic and probabilistic identity solutions? Sure. So the word deterministic is really just a fancy way of saying exact matching. An example of that would be to match on a string of characters. For example, social security number or phone number. When you match on those exact characters, you have created a deterministic match. Now, sometimes it's not always possible to accommodate an absolute match. And there's this use of what we in the industry call fuzzy logic. An example of this might be a phone number. One of them has the leading area code, while the other phone number does not. It just has the the last seven digits. It's still possible to match those two phone numbers simply because one doesn't have the area code in front of it. That's a close and reasonable match. So that's an example of using fuzzy logic to help expand the deterministic or absolute match. Are you saying that there are many ways that healthcare systems capture information? Absolutely. They capture information in a number of ways. They type it in because the patient has provided them that information during registration. That's the most common way. Um, And as a result of typing that information in, there tends to be a lot of variety in the quality of the data. So there could be data transpositions, there could be misunderstanding if someone's trying to tell someone their name, they, they misunderstand how the name is stated. So there's several reasons why data might have quality errors. Is there one matching technology that is preferred over another in healthcare? It's best to use a combination of both deterministic and probabilistic matching. They both help to solve the overall challenge. So let me explain to you a little bit about what probabilistic matching is. As the name implies, it's the probability or likelihood that two records match one another. And it includes technologies or logic that consider aspects of data like edit distance, transposition, sound X, and other features that help to make a match where a literal match might not occur. So for example, a person with the name Lee, well, you could spell that name L-E-I-G-H or L-E-E, and sound X would be able to accommodate those two name spellings and infer that they are actually a match or a likely match. Just because they're spelled differently doesn't mean that they are separate or totally unique. It is likely that they could be a match to one another. So solutions that combine both probabilistic and deterministic are the best solutions in healthcare. Got it. So if I go to my doctor and I present myself as Chris Egger instead of Kristen Egger, or if somebody accidentally types in my name with an I-N instead of an E-N, I might still be accurately identified and match my correct record because there are deterministic and probabilistic matching? Absolutely. But you made a good point there. There could be incorrect matching because of probabilistic. So that's the other side of the coin. Just as as good as it is to potentially match two records that are likely the same, it could also possibly match two records that are not the same. And there maybe there is another Kristen Egger who spells her name uh, differently than yours, but because of the probabilistic nature of data, it says these two records are a match when in fact they are not. That's called a false positive. So the way around these or the way to resolve this situation where you have opportunities for false positive and false negative matches is to use a solution akin to LifeMed ID's Amy solution, where we combine strengths of the client or hospital's already existing EMPI and MDM technology, which is using probabilistic matching to match records, and In concert with that, 
we use our authenticators, which are a deterministic match. And in that manner, we're able to always identify the one and true patient. And there's never an opportunity for false positive or false negative once a patient has received their authenticator. To learn more about how Amy enhances existing investments in EMPI technologies, visit lifemedid.com. Catherine, thank you so much for joining us today. And to all of our listeners, stay tuned same time next week for our next ID Chat podcast topic.